Korea Future is investigating violations of international law in North Korea's penal system so that justice actors can begin to hold those responsible to account. In our first phase, we have independently documented over 500 perpetrators who are responsible for over 3,500 human rights violations committed against more than 700 prisoners in over 150 penal facilities. Select data can be publicly accessed and downloaded at the North Korean Prison Database and our website. Onsung County MPS Detention Center is run by the Ministry of People Security, or MPS, North Korea's General Police Force. It is located in Onsung, North Hamgyong Province, less than a mile from the border with China. Its function is to detain suspects who are undergoing pretrial examination and those who have been sentenced and are awaiting transfer to another facility. Using digital modeling, survivor testimony, memory-based diagrams, and satellite imagery, Korea Future worked alongside former detainees and correctional officers to reconstruct the internal architecture of the detention center and to situate human rights violations described at the facility. No one has been able to see inside Onsung County MPS Detention Center until now. The figures in red are correctional officers who are responsible for patrolling, transporting, and penalizing the detainees. Seven correctional officers are stationed at the Onsung County MPS Detention Center at any one time. The figures in orange are pretrial examiners who interrogate the detainees. According to a former correctional officer, this detention facility has in total seven pretrial examiners. Detainees are first taken into a CCTV room that monitors cells 1 to 10. They are subjected to a strip search by correctional officers who look to prevent entry of contraband and, in particular, money into the detention center. Detainees' money and valuables are confiscated in the personal belonging space. They must then crawl through a small door that measures just 1 meter by 80 centimeters to enter their cell. This is intended to degrade and humiliate detainees. Detainees must sit cross-legged in severely overcrowded cells for more than 12 hours every day. Any movement or sound they make results in penalties that often amount to torture, such as physical beating with fists, feet, and objects. Conditions in the cells are unsanitary and detainees have no way to maintain personal hygiene. Former detainees reported the cells were infested with lice and filled with the stench from the open toilet. Detainees are forbidden from using the single toilet in the cell without permission from a correctional officer. Personal hygiene products like soap, toilet paper, and toothbrushes are not provided, and detainees are not permitted to wash or do laundry. Though detainees should be escorted to the outdoor exercise area for sun and fresh air one to two times per week, according to North Korean regulations, in practice, this is not the case. Detainees receive three meals a day. The nutritional value of meals falls below international standards. Each meal consists solely of a small bowl of steamed corn kernels, roughly ground with the husks, and a bowl of soup made of boiled water with salted cabbage. Drinking water is not readily available for detainees. Until recently, detainees in each cell were provided with a communal bucket of tap water amounting to 10 liters per day for washing, flushing the toilet, and drinking. Recent testimony from 2019 tells us that drinking water is provided in a separate 1-2 to two liter bottle filled with tap water. Even then, detainees must get permission to drink water but are often denied. Detainees must crawl out of their cell backwards before they are taken to their pretrial examination room to be interrogated by MPS officers. If they look up at a correctional officer, they risk being tortured. Interrogation is often devoid of due process and no legal representation is provided to detainees. Our evidence establishes that serious violations of international law have taken place at Onsung County MPS Detention Center under the watch of the Ministry of People Security, which itself is subordinate to the Workers' Party of Korea with Kim Jong-un at the helm. Given there is no path to justice for victims inside North Korea, there exists an urgent need to further investigate and preserve evidence of human rights violations in North Korea's penal system so that international justice actors can begin to hold those responsible to account. The full-length video analysis of Onsung County MPS Detention Center is available on our North Korean prison database and website.